Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 here in the Rizu Forest. We'll start you up. We'll do it for some of it. We will go through the chainsaw and just remove it. Um, and some of the other bits we will go through and we'll chop down the logs. Because this is going to be our main source of income to start with. Right, we, we've got to be careful. I mean, I know that we'll eventually build up our houses. And so our income is going to be coming in from the houses instead. Let's chop that bad boy down there, shall we? And that there. I don't know how far over. I can't really see very much. Oop, I think I've hit the tree. Yeah, that would be the tree. Let's back up over here a little bit and send them that way. Got to keep them off of the stumps as well. And you don't want to push them too much. Right, you keep them up in the air because otherwise when you come back through with the truck and, uh, you know, getting the... picking up the timber with the auto load, it makes it more difficult if you've got them scattered around too in too wide an area. It just makes life more difficult for you. There's no point in doing that. That's better. There we go. Bring you up like that. Right, and now if I reverse a little bit before I start uh, trying to sort of swing it round too much, uh, then I should be, it should be a little bit easier to swing it through. So there we go. Right, then these trees are about three tons a piece. There is a huge amount of timber here. We're not actually selling the timber and making any money from it at the moment because we went and bought the sawmill. So we don't just get the money from the timber anymore. We now have the timber being turned into other stuff. So we've got, we're going to have like some piles of wood left on the side and we'll pick it up with the truck. You know, all the deer that we get on the map, they actually fit this map. Like, some some of the maps, I know that some people have said that, you know, you, you get deer going everywhere. And, you know, it's not uncommon to see them in, in town. But, like, the, the number of deer that you get on the map sometimes does seem a little tiny bit ridiculous. But then you get, like, here, uh, if I can turn that one. Uh, there we go, that's what I want to do. Um... Uh, it seems slightly ridiculous the amount of deer that you do get turning up on the map. Like there's low, there, there's hundreds of them turning up. Um, but here in the woods, it, it seems about right. I'm actually quite pleased to see them. You know, you just off into the distance, you see the deer galloping past. Um, maybe a little bit different when we've built a massive, great big industrial area. I don't know how big we're going to get. I mean, I've got grand plans for this map. And honestly, I this is the sort of project that I could stay and, and build quite a, a large um, city in this map. But I don't know how much people are going to want to watch. Um, just bring you in that way a little bit. It is going to make a difference that we're, I'm, I'm not going to be doing everything like this. All right, I'll do a little bit of this so that we have some timber that we can use and we can pick it up with the lorry and then take it down to the sawmill. Um, the sawmill at the moment. Let me just finish chopping up this tree a second. I did ask around to see if there's any mod at the moment where you can just like point at a tree and then it gets spelled, it, you know, knocked to the floor and um, you've just got like a big pile of logs on the floor. But nobody seems to have found any such mods at the moment. So we may not be able to do it like that. Um, production in here. So at the moment we're making planks. I've got about half full on here. So one more load of timber and we won't be able to put any more incoming material in there. It's just going to have to wait. And then we've got to like take it out. So we've now got 1,029 litres of planks. If planks are coming out at... What's grass silage doing? 
that's almost gone through as well so we've got silage in here now um if those are a thousand per liter like we're ready for the next stage of production the next stage of production that's something that i do want to look at is we can then take those planks and we can turn them into furniture can't we so like the very basic stuff 60 carpentry there you have planks coming in and timber going uh, furniture going out and then the furniture you can sell that for quite a big chunk so let's go back out of here a minute and then we go in this way so planks we got beams here this is from another one there's empty barrels there's no buying and selling of these i think you've got to build the sell points for them as well there's all kinds of sell points in here and some some of these are, like we've got some really good stuff so planks in there rochette shop is 3881 furniture is 6000 in there and if we look at that because of 6600 like we're, we're going to get some pretty good stuff from that um 4000 there for planks is a maximum we get we get some good we get some good results from that uh how much have i got now let's go and get this let's get a couple more because I, I want to go back down to the sawmill. I'm curious. I don't think that there was another building down there where we got, like, a furniture thing that we can use. I don't, I don't think that's, like, a, a thing that we've got at the moment. It's a bit of a shame. Um, I think it's just the, the basic sawmill bit. Swing you over that way. Chop that one up. So something that I, I would actually be fairly content to just sit here and um, chop these trees up for quite a while. This is the kind of thing that it looks all right in time lapse. I have seen someone, a Sim Farmer I think he's called, and I only just sort of recently heard of him and he's got uh, over, I think he's over 100,000 subscribers, um, so he's, he's doing really well. He does like a new time lapse every single day, uh, which is phenomenal and he's he's got some really good ideas and i seen a video of his i was just having a look at it and there's a video of his well i think he does it in a few of them but when he's doing stuff with um tree felling he actually does it on a server and then has a second account watching the tree felling and so you see it via the second account rather than in the first person like I always do. Now, I thought that was a really good idea. Um, there's no copyright on ideas, and I did think, oh, yeah, I could do that, but to be honest, I don't want to. Um, that's his thing. That's his scene. I'm not going to sort of try and muscle in on doing anything like that. Um, it take a little bit to set up. I mean, it probably wouldn't actually be all that difficult for me to do it, um, I could set up a, an account and uh, very quickly sort of set things up at home as well so that I could run the two accounts side by side and record it. You would not believe it taking a leaf of absence. Unfortunately, you get the achievement come up, but you don't get anywhere that tells you what the achievement is. I'm assuming it's because I've cut down X amount of trees. I just don't know how many trees that particular achievement represents. And that's the bit that I say is unfortunate, because it doesn't tell you exactly what you've just done in order to get that achievement, and I don't like that. I like to know what I've done to earn my achievement. Let's go and get this next one here, and I think I'm going to call it now for chopping trees. We'll take a walk through the woods, and we will just see what we've done done in regards to chopping trees to see um like how well i can get through now with a lorry so we'll go and get our lorry and we'll load up a load of timber and we'll run that all the way down through we've got a pallet down there i think that is planks ready to sell so that's only one pallet though there is only one pallet. Now, I said I was going to only do the one, but there is another one right across the other side of the road where I'm parked. So I'll take that one out as well. Yeah, like that. Because this isn't supposed to be the hardcore series. If it was, I'd have to cut down every single tree. And I wouldn't have so much access to money either. And I definitely wouldn't have the economy on easy settings. 
which would make it a little bit more difficult for us, wouldn't it? Take that one out. The stone picker is still going. He's, he's doing a good job up there. He's, he's still motoring on. So we, we got that one. Still working away. We'll have to lease a... I'm gonna bring you down over here. There's field 17 in there that we might actually end up buying. Okay, so I'm going to walk this way first. And I'm going to remove the tree stumps as we walk back up. There are any more? There's one. Probably going to miss one or two tree stumps. We can always go back and we can get them a bit later. That's not going to be an issue. Um, so let's make our way back up and try and take out the tree stumps. We can see in the top left hand side that the worker is still working so we, we can just let the worker carry on doing whatever it is that he needs to do until he either says that he's full or that he, he's just too tired and doesn't want to carry on anymore. Just, he just can't cope with it any longer. He's too tired. He's given up and he's gone home. Uh... Is there a tree stump in here? I like it. I'm sure there should be more tree stumps here. I feel like I'm I feel like I've missed some. I feel like there's something missing. Oh, I'll have that one. If I just pick out the ones that I see and then we can always run back through later and grab any ones that remain. Uh a little bit later on, that's not gonna be any kind of a problem for us, is it? So we'll take that one there. I've already picked out the ones that were over on the other side, and I think I've done everything further up from here. Take that one out. Yeah, I've done the rest. All right, so I want to go to this one. How are we doing? Ooh. Right. The percentage of the fi the percentage that we got left versus the I think we will just about fill this one up. Stone pickers. They were having problems. See, he's getting quite heavy now. He's very heavy on the front. We could do the weight on the back. We really could do the weight on the back of that. Hmm. Hopefully, he will be all right to complete that without the weight on the back. Ooh, wait. I know. Let's stop that one there a second. And then we jump out and we go like this. And then I'm looking at it now. Seriously? Do I not have the workshop mod? View. Oh, oh do I need to switch it off? Turn that one off a minute. Well, it's not showing me the option, but I mean, well, if I press N, it still comes up with the option anyway. So if I go to customize like that, and then I go to wheel, we got wheel weights, wide tires with weights. It's quite expensive, that is. Wheel weights, 1,200. Let's just put the wheel weights on it. We'll just do it like that. I think that's all we need to do. Wide tires would be nice, but they're also considerably more expensive, so I'm not going to worry about that. Let's take that one off. Let's go into here. Put that one on. There we go. Look at that. All right, it's not leaning it over anywhere near as much as it was. That's that's really good. I like that. I like that a lot. Let me do that a minute. Bring this one down over here. So that there said that we don't have access to the land. So if I do it from this angle, I might be able to get those couple little bits of stone. No. No, I'm not going to be able to. It's not happening. So I'll bring that one out here. I'm going to come up like that. I kind of want to put it here like this. I think. And off the trot. There we go. Okay, that one can carry on working up and down through there. That should get the rest of the stone. 
I'm going to take the lorry now while I'm over here and I'm going to drive this one up. We're going to want another tractor. We're definitely going to want another tractor, but I've got other things that I need to buy as well. Like, there's so many different things that I need to buy and, and get and, and so on, and it, it's not going to be easy. Now, which side am I loading? Um, switch the auto load to the right. So I'm loading on the left. That's fine, actually. That's, that's perfect. I can start with this one right here. So I'll bring that one. We'll just reverse up a little bit. You've got to go slow, remember. The, the key to this is go fairly slow. So start. We'll start unloading Z. B. We, need, we just need to press B. So we'll do it like that. Stop auto load. You should be auto loading. Maximum of 10 meter lengths. I've got. Yeah, that's fine. Um, show unloading. Switch pile. Oh, there we go. Right, we're loading the back first. You do have to go slow. It's tempting to just, like, put the pedal to the metal and, and, and go. But no, you can't do that. It is very tempting sometimes to do that, but that, that is not really something that you can go and do. Um, the load, the collection position is in the middle of the trailer. We've got that. Right, there we go. It's that one. And is that one going to... Sometimes it's difficult when the logs are quite close to there. When the, when the logs are end on as well. Right, I'm going to just do that. So I've stopped the loading, and I'm just going to strap those in place a second. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive down into the yard, and I'm going to get those two logs that we've got down here. Remember the two that we chucked in over the fence? And we'll see if I can pick them up. I'm going to be able to turn right round there, so I will go this way, and then I will turn round here. I do like this really, really excessively long trailer. Right, it's excessively long. It's rather ridiculous using this one. As you can see, with the difficulty we have getting around the corner and so on. But I don't regret this for a moment. This is definitely the right choice to make. Now, are those logs going to be too long for this? We'll undo these straps and... No, they're not. Perfect. Ideal. Look at that. Right. Turn that one off. Put the straps back on. And then we can head back up and get this next load loading. So there's a trailer that we're going to want to go with this so that we can get the pallets when they're done down at the sawmill. I'm not going to worry about that just yet because it's not going to be something that we're going to be using just yet. But we will, like once we've got a few pallets there... I don't think I'm going to be able to be in a position to be selling the... Uh, to be able to, like, turn it into furniture. I think we're going to have to sell everything first. Okay, so... Uh, oh, okay. Help E is blocked by an object. What are you blocked by? Oh, that one. Seriously? That's your issue? First world problems, man. Well, actually, as I'm here, I'm not going to be able to get everything with the space that I've got left on the tractor. So what we'll do is we will pick that one up. Actually, I don't even need to pick that one up because that plow was leased, so that one can go. Go here, plow, return, yes, because I'm not buying field 17 just now. Uh, so we're just, we're just going to keep this field here. I, there's definitely more than 100 litres down through there. So if we race down to the yard down here, tip out this stone and come back up, and then that little bit can be finished, then the next job that we're going to need to do is get a seed drill and plant this area to our left and also field 19. If we get both those planted, we're also going to want to do fertiliser. So we're going to have to... <laughs> oh, look at that go. That's fantastic. I do love like, the, the weight ratio, the way it does the weight stuff here now. It, it seems to be more realistic. I don't know, maybe it's not. 
It, it just seems to be a little bit more accurate the way that it depicts it all. Get on from there and run back up. I'm keen to get going with that lorry. I want to run that one down through. We have to switch over to loading off the right hand side and then we can run that until we loaded up a full load of timber and then we can take that down to the sawmill unload the whole lot into the sawmill and then once we've done that that's gonna be everything that we can do with timber for a minute so i mean like we can go and get a bit more do a bit more with the tree harvester but right now it's not like it's just gonna end up with logs on the, i mean that's not a bad thing having the logs on the ground is it that's, that is not a bad thing so we're gonna we get to this point right here Take these straps off and, and we want to change the auto load to the right hand side like that and then start loading. So we've got a little stack of them right there. And to start with, I'm just going to go in a straight line down through here. So those that are further back will probably not get touched just yet. It's these close ones that we want. And apparently we're not getting those. Oh, I know why start auto load wood is because I'm loading the back pile it doesn't automatically switch to the front pile if you're on the back pile it'll switch off after it's done that so I need to change it to pile number one it will load pile number one and then it will when that one's done it will switch automatically to pile number two and then it will switch off if pile number two is full so if you're doing it with like three piles it will do exactly the same thing now, one thing that you do have to do with this is switch. If you're going backwards, on the front pile at least, turn it off. Otherwise you get what we just got there, which is a bit of a pain, fortunately. I'm fairly strong, chap, so, you know, picking up a piece of timber that is 1.1 tons, no problem at all. I can do that. I've been working out, that's why. So we'll turn that one back on again, and we will come over here like this. There we go. And that one. And then just slowly, slowly ease ourselves down here. You do have to go slow. You can't go rushing into it. Because if you rush into it, you get like a little cluster of logs, and then it doesn't work properly. It all goes horribly pear-shaped, and we don't want that. Yeah. See, I want I wanted that log to fall to the side. I mean maybe the next one will be alright. These logs are moving around a little bit. There, see, we that one's fallen off. And now it's switched to the back pile. Probably actually turned off completely now. But look. Start auto load wood. And it's on the back pile. So I'll switch it over to the front pile. Start auto load wood. It's put two on there. It's automatically now switch it to the back pile. It's still auto loading and it's still auto loading, but I don't actually want to go any higher than that. So I'm going to turn it off myself. I will switch it to the front pile so it's ready for next time. Put all the straps on and now we can take this load over to the sawmill. And there is a tree stump that we missed. jump out and take care of that one a minute there we go that one's out of the way and then what I'm going to do is that one can just stay there running that's not going to matter uh, the stone collector is still going I can fit through here so long as I can fit through actually you know what let's no I'm I'm going to leave them if I can fit through with the lorry I'm, I'm alright leaving them for a minute this one here I'll take out We'll take that one out. And I think there's a couple of deciduous trees that we're going to want to chop out as well along the way. So that one can go. The rest of this route here is fine at the moment to go through. We've got to, we're going to have a bit of landscaping to do all the way down through here. It's going to take us a while. So that one's definitely got to come out. And so is that next tree up there. Because we can't do those for tree harvester. And I have no intention in this series of messing around with deciduous trees trying to cut them. Because... Um, the one major issue that a lot of people have had, and I've had myself with FS22, is trying to remove deciduous trees at the best of times. Um, 
I think, actually, these are not so bad. These do cut up reasonably well. But the oak trees. Oak trees seem to be among the worst offenders. That one might be alright staying back there. He's, he's, he's out of the way. This one here would be one I'd take out anyway. Because it's too small to bother with the tree harvester. Uh, these two, these have got to go. And, yeah, see, it's, these trees here, are, I think they're alright. Oak trees are apparently the worst ones of the lot. If you have oak trees, they cause more problems than any others. Um, the the weight balance on them is all off, and the, there is there's major problems with them. There there is major major issues. So I'm thinking that we'd need to come through here to be able to get into this area. Now you got to remember that we have got a huge, great, big, long trailer, so. It would be difficult. Now, I've got... There's that bit. Planks, we got 1,173. So, it does look like that maybe planks require 2,000 litres to fill a thing up. And I've got an idea for that. Let's look in here a minute. Right, it's 13.25. When's it going to rain? Not till 6 o'clock. All right, let's... Fast forward time a little bit. I want to see. I want to get that up to uh, 2,000 litres on the planks. Six o'clock is our limit. I don't want to be doing the work in the rain. 800 at 3 o'clock. 900. That's 2,000 litres. Let's go all the way back to one time speed again. 2,000 litres and I still don't have a plank come out. Why not? Why is why am I not getting... I should be getting planks come out here, shouldn't I? Isn't that where they're supposed to drop? So I thought it was. Maybe planks are heavier than that. I'm going to have to get some other stuff done, though. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go in here. There's no items on here. I want to go to that one and I want to go to construction. And what I want to find out... Is we'll do that. Right, there we go. Dwelling round. So that's where we unload. I think that square there is where the pallets will be deposited. Where does the wood chips go? Are they do they go out there as well? I've never really I've never actually used a sawmill though, so I I, I don't know about this. Now demolish. Okay, it's not actually lighting up to demolish anything. Despite the fact that I own all of this. So those... Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.